This is the city of Chichihar in northeastern China. The owner of this residential area said all the rooms in her apartment were sinking, and there was a 1.8 meter deep hole under the surface. She said the underground holes were connected. Insects could fly up from underground and sewage seeped through. What kind of quality is this? It's scary. My own home is sinking. Look, the tiles are cracked. It was hollow under the floor. This is the bathroom and there are holes under the surface. It's hollow under the pipes. Here's the master bedroom and here's the bathroom. Look, the floor is sinking, the whole place is sinking, the whole property is sinking. There's still water here. The neighbors haven't used the water yet. If they use water, the sinking would be much worse. The water in this pit is bubbling. The whole place is sinking. It's scary. Can you believe it? China is sinking, including the capital city Beijing and its busiest city, Shanghai. The ground in Shanghai has been sinking. An analysis based on historical satellite images released by the University of Colorado found that the ground in Shanghai has sunk 110 millimeters since 1965. In this metropolis where the population reached over 16 million, its ground is about 3 meters lower than it was 100 years ago. Since 2003, the Shanghai Geological Survey Institute has been monitoring the settlement of the city's high-rise and multi-story buildings. They found that the entire city of Shanghai was sinking at an average speed of 7 millimeters per year. The tens of millions of residents of this city by the sea have begun to worry about their safety. The problem was brought to the attention of the Chinese government in 2012. At the time, China's Ministry of Land and Resources reported that in addition to Shanghai, China's largest city, more than 50 other cities were facing the threat of ground subsidence. The situation is particularly serious in Beijing, Tianjin, Hangzhou, and Xi'an. The situation is dire in the Yangtze River Delta, the basin of Shanxi Province, and the North China Plain. In the same year, the plan to address the ground subsidence in Beijing was approved by the State Council. The plan was the first of its kind. The harm caused by the quiet subsidence can be described as earth-shattering. A geological expert said that the impact of land subsidence is broad. It will lead to the sinking of high-rise buildings, cause deformation and failure of urban drainage systems, and result in a decline in flood control capabilities. Uneven subsidence will make the building's foundation sink or crack. It'll cause the underground structures to tilt toward the water well and oil well, which might crack and destroy it. It damages linear projects such as railways, water and oil pipelines, bridges, and communication lines. Another expert, after four years of investigation, warned that at the current rate, by 2050, the sea level would rise 400 millimeters to 700 millimeters, and the Yangtze River Delta region may be transformed into a sea of water. Chinese experts widely recognize the causes of Shanghai's sinking, massive urban migration, soft soil, and the depletion of groundwater. Chinese media reported that Shanghai has been pumping back water into the ground since 1996. However, much is extracted in summer, it is returned in winter. In 2020, the city extracted about 1.05 million cubic meters of groundwater and returned as much as 18.1 million cubic meters. The average annual ground subsidence in the last two years has also been reduced from 10.22 millimeters in 2002 to 5 millimeters. But there is no doubt that Shanghai is still sinking. For most of the cities in China, things aren't as bad as in Shanghai. In recent years, the general public in China has been witnessing subsidence and ground collapse in many parts of the country that have resulted in loss of life and property. On this street in front of a plaza, 21 cars parked nearby were instantly swallowed and dropped into a deep hole. A crane later pulled out 15 cars. 
The hole was soon flooded and a large amount of water gushed out to the street surface. Here is an intersection. It suddenly sank, making a round hole. A sedan, unaware of the situation, drove forward and fell into it. People found that there were survivors in the hole and called out for help. There are people down there. Call 110. Call 110. Even if one is at home, one may experience ground subsidence. Here is a shocking scene captured by a surveillance camera. It shows a man sitting on a chair when the floor suddenly shakes. A big hole appeared. The man luckily has good reflexes and quickly steps on the edge of the hole, throwing himself backward and landing on the edge without falling into the hole. Here in Yunnan province, farmers were surprised to see that their farmland, which had been cultivated for decades, suddenly had water flowing rapidly toward one spot. Then a big crater appeared, baffling the villagers. This is a street in Kunming, Yunnan province. It collapsed suddenly. A man on a motorcycle fell into the hole and was taken to the hospital. A small hole suddenly appeared on the sidewalk. Curious people gathered around to check it out. One of them, an old man, fell in when the ground collapsed. He was rushed to the hospital. Still in Sichuan province, in a residential neighborhood in Chongqing, the foundation of a building suddenly started to cave in and settle. Nearby residents heard the cracking sound. Later, they saw cracks appear on the road and the exposed foundation too. In March, a fish pond of over 7,000 square feet suddenly sank in Guangdong. Overnight, the water and hundreds of kilograms of fish disappeared, leaving behind several large holes. I saw the water bubbling since the 12th. When it bubbles, it means that there might be holes at the bottom of the water. When I woke up in the morning, I only saw a few big holes, and the water disappeared. There was another similar incident on March 14, 2023. A fish pond in Chongqing suddenly saw a mysterious pit. Over 26,000 pounds of ornamental fish were swallowed. The pit was so deep that the fish and water disappeared altogether, along with the surrounding earth. The small brick house used as a warehouse on the side of the fish pond collapsed as well. The owner of the fish pond said, Not only are 26,000 pounds of ornamental fish gone, but a small boat has also been sucked in. According to villagers in the area, there have been many collapses in the vicinity of the fish ponds. Those pits have been refilled. Based on local history, people concluded that excessive mining was the main reason for the subsidence. Overmining has been going on because Tianfu is a coal mining town. The fish pond is located within the subsidence area where it used to be a mine. Even now, professional monitoring equipment related to coal mining and subsidence areas in many places in Tianfu town and beside the fish pond can be seen. One of the sites is even labeled Automated Surface Crack Monitoring Point. Evidently, it's used to monitor various kinds of collapses in the coal mining area. The Tianfu mining area is well known in the northern part of Chongqing. Corrupt officials have allowed large-scale mining for the sake of profit. How big is the mining area? It spans two districts in Chongqing and another city, a total of three jurisdictions. The Tianfu mining area adopts multi-layer horizontal mining. As the name implies, each layer is thick, so they are mined at the same time in an effort to extract the maximum amount of coal resources and make it as green as possible. 
However, after nearly a century of all-around multi-layer mining, the result was that the ground was hollowed out, leaving only hollows and cavities everywhere. Although mining was later suspended, the hollow area was still expanding. By 2010, the coal mining subsidence area had expanded to almost 62 square kilometers. Within these areas, the groundwater level has been drastically lowered, drying up water. Landslides caused by soil erosion are commonplace. The biggest threat is the ground sinking and the sudden collapse of houses. Hollow underground and subsidence as a result of coal mining happened not only in Sichuan, but also in many other provinces and cities in China. Shanxi Province and Shanxi Province in Inner Mongolia, located on the edge of the North China Plain, have been hollowed out. The ground sinks from time to time due to the massive mining of underground coal and other mineral resources. For example, in Shanxi Province, there are more than 2,000 square kilometers of subsidence zones, with 1.7 million people affected. In 2015, more than 1,000 hanging villages were forced to relocate out of hollowed out and subsidence zones. We previously reported that on May 31, 2023, a large-scale ground settlement occurred suddenly in a small neighborhood in Tianjin. Cracks appeared on the streets and buildings became tilted. More than 10 residential towers were involved. By June 2nd, a total of more than 2,900 residents were relocated and evacuated. Chinese media reported that on June 2nd, a team of experts had been formed by the Tianjin University, China Railway Construction, PetroChina, and the Tiananmen Institute, and went to the site to demarcate a safety control area. The so-called experts quickly came to the preliminary conclusion that it had little to do with the operation of the geothermal drilling. However, the public disagrees with the experts. The experts say it's fine. They'll fix it and let you move back in. They've drilled an underground well to 2,000, 3,000 meters. One of our buildings here is 16 stories high. Think about it. If you drill a well, the pressure on the ground will be different. The underground is all empty. They drilled a well and pumped out a lot of water. We are a coastal city here, so the roads are arched. They are all bulging. Why was there a sudden drilling operation in this area? Some people have unearthed the following information. A new hot spring spa was built nearby, and a 1,300 meter deep hot spring well had to be drilled. When the well reached 600 meters, it caused the groundwater to shift. It just so happens that the layer 600 meters deep was a mudflat in ancient times that was filled with sand. Even though there was a layer of clay on the top of it, it couldn't stop the sand from moving as a result of the groundwater flow. Shifted, sandy layers resulted in a cave-in. In addition, based on the videos and images of the public at the scene, some people shared the following analysis. First, water gushed out of the distorted road surface and the geothermal drilling rig collapsed. Based on these, the preliminary inference is that the geothermal drilling led to the cracking of the pressure-resistant shell of the underground oval water storage area, and the pressure went out of balance. This led to the fracturing of the underground layers, and the cracks gradually extended to the surface under water pressure, manifesting as cracks and creeps on the surfaces. In other words, in addition to the massive mining that has hollowed out many underground spaces, another important reason is the overexploitation of groundwater. As we mentioned earlier, China's State Council took up the fight against subsidence in Beijing as early as 2012. So, more than a decade later, has the situation in Beijing improved? Not really. According to China's version of National Geographic, the world's largest water funnel has formed beneath Beijing, and the city is sinking slowly at first, but at an accelerating rate in recent years. The Chaoyang district in the eastern part of the city sinks the most. It has lowered 0.34 meters. In addition, six subway lines in Beijing have become deformed, with an average deformation rate of more than 5 millimeters a year. 
Among them, the average deformation rate of the Ba Tong line on line 1 reached 22.5 mm a year. The maximum deformation rates of line 6 and 7 are 70.4 mm a year and 115.1 mm a year respectively. This subway station is situated in the area of the largest deformation. According to experts, the main cause of Beijing subsidence is the overexploitation of groundwater. Data from the Beijing Municipal Government's website shows that two out of three cups of water consumed by Beijing residents now comes from groundwater. Since 1972, Beijing has suffered severe droughts. Surface water is in short supply, and the city has begun to extract groundwater on a large scale. Since 1999, Beijing has entered a period of significantly low rainfall, increasing its dependence on groundwater. Due to the large amount of groundwater mining, it has caused a wide range of underground funnels, especially in North China. It has underground funnels up to a depth of more than 200 meters. We once had a research trip to the Hutou River. Residents told us that once it was forecasted that there would be a flood in the upper reaches of the river. Downstream personnel had already made preparations for it, but the floods didn't come. Water gradually disappeared as it flowed down the river. It sounds like the flood disappeared and didn't cause a disaster, but on the other hand, we owe too much to the groundwater system. If we don't pay it back in time, we may not have any water in the future. When it rains, it seeps right through. The soil won't be able to hold back the water. The crops won't be able to absorb and make use of the water. As a result, we won't be able to grow crops. So in order to water the crops, we have to rely on irrigation. Where does the irrigation water come from? We still have to pump the groundwater, so it creates a vicious cycle. China Daily has reported that the groundwater in North China region where Beijing, Tianjin, Hebei, Shanxi and Inner Mongolia are located has been overexploited by at least 120 billion cubic meters. That's the equivalent to the amount of water of 200 Baiyangdian lakes. Baiyangdian is the largest lake in Hebei province. Experts also say the real situation may be worse, with overdrafts in northern China estimated to be close to 200 billion cubic meters. According to the report, the continuous decline in the water table has led to groundwater from the shallow surface flowing towards a center, thus forming a funnel-like dip in north China. It's the largest underground water funnel zone in the world, which means that many parts of north China are in danger of subsidence. The Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences has published an article titled Uncovering the Past Life of the North China Plains Groundwater Funnels. The article reveals an even more alarming situation. That is, the North China Plain likely has a huge complex funnel made up of countless large and small funnels underneath, and the area of this huge funnel is still expanding. The article reads, in 2005, the total area of the shallow groundwater descending funnel was over 9,000 square kilometers. In 2019, it reached close to 15,000 square kilometers, and in 2021, it expanded further to over 16,000 square kilometers. The total area of the shallow groundwater descending funnel is continuously expanding. Beijing is located on top of this huge complex water funnel.